that can't be right. Oh, your belt no longer fits. I'm just going to put in a good blast of honey. If the sun was shining and it was a summer's day, you would think you were abroad. Unfortunately, not, and it's cold. Coffee's ready, sweet pea. Thanks, sweet pea. You must have worked hard on I that. I did, I did. It's taken me ages to make that. Line shite. Slaved over it. Your breakfast behind you. Ah. Thank you, sweet pea. You're welcome, sweet pea. It's a beautiful sunny morning. The patio is all sorted. The cushions are out. Ooh. What? Oh. Oh, what? Your belt doesn't fit. What? That can't be right. Oh, your belt no longer fits. Yeah, but look at that, it doesn't even go around me. Where's it? Are you sure that's not mine? Well, you're not that slim. Where did you get it from? From my drawer. It must be a kid's belt. <laughs> oh dear. So, it's a beautiful day. Uh, we have some friends coming, Sandy and Steve, who we bought James off. Sandy is coming for lunch. We're going to have lunch outside. Nick's going to make a nice salad. Steve is going to do a couple of bits to the car for us. Uh, what's he doing? He's going to put a plastic trim back on and um, he's going to move the Wi-Fi aerial because it won't stick. Yeah. So he's going to shift it. And uh, Nick is going to make the, us all a nice lunch, sat on the decking. Butter balls. Yeah. Jack and Rich is just going to come up for a coffee because uh, Sandy's bringing some cake, um, although they're not staying for the butter bowl. And hopefully the sun will stay out all day. Is it set to? Uh, I haven't checked. However, um, I've ordered them speakers for the ceiling because these are really, really tinny. They're like, they're like phone speakers. However, what? What's that got to do with what I was saying? Well, it's more interesting. So the Tesco is due any second with all the bits for the Buddha Bowl. So if it comes and there's nothing, you know, lots of substitution. No, well, I've looked at the charge on the card and it's exactly the amount of order. So it looks like there's no subs. That's good. So he's going to call at any moment and then we'll unload our shopping. You're gonna have to suck your belly in a lot more than that to get it even through the buckle. Can you not even get it to the first button? Um, if I stop breathing, maybe. Where the frizz is it must be. It must have either come on a pair of trousers that we've never used, <laughs> or I it's... mean, to be fair, about ten years ago, I was um, a stone lighter than I was up until I was about. You're full of shit. That will not fit no. around your bones. Never mind your. When, no when, up until about ten years ago, I was eleven and a half stone, but I was too skinny. Yeah, but your hips don't shrink with losing weight, and that won't even go around the bones on your well, hips. Well, chuck it away. No, actually, you might, might want it to. might be a woman's belt, actually. Yeah, well, it might be. Ah, I bet you it's been left. Maybe. By whoever stayed in the back room. 30, 32 inch 34? No way. No way. Well, I'll keep it for my sister. It's shrunk in wash. Tesco's here. This bag is massive, it's fit the entire shopping. <laughs> right, get in. Right. Giant bag that we got from Wilco's the other week, just for when Tesco arrived, and it's worked a treat. Yeah. Apart from it being extremely heavy. It's heavy, it's literally like sliced my shoulder. Where's the sun gone? Freak knows. It's because you put cushions out, that's why. Sun's back out, thankfully, and I've just walked to the bins and back, and it's not cold, so we look to be all good for lunch out on the decking. Nick is starting the preparations. I think we need your kitchen cloth. Uh, yeah, I noticed that. It looks like you washed wash the toilet with it. Just need to get a new one, don't we? We do. <laughs> we didn't get any milk with Tesco order either. Right, I'm going to make um, the baked oats because uh, Steve is a diabetic, so ah, right, okay. we're going to give him something healthy. And obviously, main reason is because we want something healthy. Yeah. I'm going to do a blueberry and raspberry one. But we're having custard with it as well, aren't we? Which I'm not sure whether Steve can have or not. Well, so we're making baked oats. This is for the dessert. Um, we, you may have seen us make it before. It basically, oats, fruit, Yogurt, honey, honey, lemon. Um, oh, oh, well, that was shit. obviously going to happen, wasn't it? Well, I'm just doing it myself, ain't I? Well, I'm sorry about that. Somebody has to vlog. Hundred grams for four people. I'll be a bit more. So you need a bit more than that. Oats. Well, I don't know. Well, what does the well, recipe say? It makes two for half the recipe, so it'll be fine. Right, two tablespoonfuls, and I've doubled the recipe, so I'm going to put four in. This is a coconut yogurt. Handful of raspberries and handful of blueberries, or whatever you want to put in. So, mm, very sweet. Put them in. Okay, a teaspoonful of baking powder, it should be half, so that goes in. Right, it does say two tablespoonfuls of sweetener or sugar. I'm just going to put in a good blast of honey. 
splash of lemon juice or lemon essence. I'm actually going to put a half of the lemon in. Right, I've put eight hot, uh, eight, boi eight spoons of, a tablespoon of boiling water. I'm now going to mix it all together. And then um, hopefully there's enough moisture in it. And then put it in the baking tray. Let it all soak in and then we're going to bake it once um, Sandy and Steve are here and we've had our uh, salad. Right. There we go. I think when we made it in the apartment, we used half the baking tray yeah. and mushed it all to yeah, one edge, yeah, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Right, so there we go. So I'm not going to bake that yet. I'm going to leave the um, the liquids to soak into the oats. Looks nice, that. We should do that more often, just for like, I mean, save it for breakfast or snacks and stuff. Smell the coconut. You smell the coconut. Yeah, it, looks, it smells and looks beautiful, actually. Could just like I'll myself. Sprinkle some seeds on it. Um, well, yeah, make it more nutty, wouldn't it? Make it nutty, yeah. Well, I'll sprinkle some... Um, Salad seeds. No, no, no. Don't want bloody trill on it. I'm thinking, talking, thinking about um, walnuts. Here we go. You'll have to hoover it worked up again. Oops. There we go. Salted. Enough for you? Enough farts for me, yes. Ooh. We are having tea soon, you know. Right, it's later in the day. Uh, our friends have been and gone. We had a uh, nice time out there. Hold on, chairs need moving back. Yes, they do. Jackie and Richard came up for a cuppa. We had some nice food and a nice afternoon had by all. As always, Sandy came bearing some gifts. She always does. I'd not seen this one, but um, she went to Ikea during the week, so she got us one of their new reusable bags. So there we go. And I'll show you what else she got after I've had me custard. Right, we've had our custard. This is the other thing that Sandy brought us. She went to Costco during the week and asked us if we wanted anything. And we mentioned that we were looking for some of the popcorn, uh, which we got sent from America. So we're hoping that this is pretty similar. What, 44 yeah. bags 44 of bags. movie theatre butter flavoured popcorn? Yeah. So we're going to try it out tonight because we've got a watch party tonight, a horror watch party. And? Mm -hmm. Natural butter flavour with other natural flavours, blah blah blah. So that is what we're going to try tonight. And possibly the best product that Costco... Why is it so far down? <laughs> Let me move the camera up. Possibly the best product that Costco do is this stuff. It is Costco's version of pesto. It is the nicest pesto that you can ever possibly taste. It's full of pine nuts, it's really rich and really cheesy. Too. Um, I mean, we've got this because the last time Mark and Hannah came, they absolutely loved it. In fact, Mark could have just sat with a spoon and ate that, couldn't yeah. he? We have it on crackers and things like that, and uh, it's absolutely amazing on just buttered bread. So we've got two tubs. One for when Mark and Hannah come, or one for us. And she also brought it. These two little beauties. Two bottles of red wine. Because we've said that we are um, in a red wine period at the minute. We're not We're not currently into gins at the moment, are we? No, no. So there's a better look at the uh, pesto. Yes, but I'm showing the wine now. We really like that pesto. I know, but you couldn't really see it before because it wasn't focusing. Yes, you so. could. Yes, you could. There we go. So we've got these two wines. We might even crack one of these open tonight. We've also got a bottle of Apothic Red as well, which came from Tesco this morning. I'm peckish. Was it this morning that Tesco came? I'm snackish. Yeah, it was this morning. Right, it's about two to three hours later. Um, we've been for a walk down to the sea. Didn't go on the beach, but the wind has suddenly come really, really far down, hasn't it? It has. And um, it was a nice little walk. We were going to make a chicken tray bake. Oh, my beans are burning. We were going to make a chicken tray bake, but um, we've decided we can't be bothered because I've already cooked a big meal today. So Lee's having a much food. I'm having beans on toast with a bit of pesto, and I've managed to um, resist the temptation and cracked, and I've actually opened it. Now for the special ingredients. I'm double dipping here, so just pesto drizzled on, beans on toast, nice parmesan cheesy taste to it. Everybody's thinking, absolutely disgusting. That's what I'm still here thinking. Yeah, but you've had this before, and it's been think, really nice. I don't think I've ever had pesto on it. We have, we've done it on a vlog, we've had pesto toast. That looks delicious, actually. Mm -hmm. Do you not think? Mm -hmm. Right, movie starting. Popcorn! It's called, for everybody. Things not seen or something. Oh, no. oh, you just paused it. Things heard and seen. It's a Netflix film, I believe. Take note of the title. Do you want some popcorn? I'll just have a little bit of yours. I'm not hungry now. Right, I'll crack this open. Ow! 
so hot. No, it's not like the movie theatre one. That's two hours of my life I want back. What a load of crap. Who picked that film? Jaden Daniel. They're never picking any more films again. <laughs> what a load odd. of rubbish. It just ended without any kind of conclusion at all. That's a and we're harsh, all sat there. Above you. We're all sat there like, when's it going to end? Was there going to be like an end? Was it him? Was it him that did it? And it just ended. Don't bother watching that film. It's f***ing shite. We'll see you tomorrow for the next scene in... Well, coffee. We're making coffee. Coffee. Tomorrow. It will be. Today we're off to meet our friend Jade from Girl Up North. The Shy Pig. Yeah, in Hull. We're a bit shopping and probably a snack or two. We have got a table booked at the tap house, but it's um, a bit conflicting online because we don't know whether it's open or closed. It says it's closed today, but um, it'll let us book a table. So if we can get in, we can. If we can't, we can't. And while we're here, we have a happy birthday to say to our good friend Sandra. Now well, Sandra is almost as old as Steve. Um, Hope you have a good day, Sandra. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sandra. Hope Steve treats you very well. Good Jane's day. set off. We need to set off in the next 10 minutes because she's a little bit further away than uh, to hold from us. We need to take an umbrella. So, well... It's set to rain. I'm sure we can eat in a place where they have umbre like, like parasols and things like that. I know a few places. Come on then. Come on then. Set off and it started raining. Five minutes after we set off. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> I've brought an umbrella with me to stick in my pocket. I've got a hood. I've got two hoods actually. So, I'm not going to let it stop us. Just let's get out and... If it rains, we'll get wet. Yes. Nick's even got his shorts on, obviously. So, we're just going to go to some indoor shopping places with Jade. Um, There's not absolutely nothing we want to buy. We're well, no, there is Going for a stuff. bimbo and a socialise in the only place that we can socialise indoors. Yeah. And that's shopping centres. Primark. Ugh. Perhaps. I'm sure Jay don't want to have a quick looking primer. I'll wait outside. Um, I do want a couple of things. We realised this morning we were out of shower gel. We realised this morning, well yesterday actually, we forgot to order some milk. And um, I need some clippers as well for my nails because I left them at a apartment. So there rain, we go. Rain even more now. It's rain even more. Oh well, we'll just get wet. Stop we'll just get wet. Rain. Every time you mention rain, it rains more. quid it should have been 84 for the bedding and then I got the fitted sheet and the pillowcases I paid 49 quid for the whole lot so take it back to car off the 50 percent of everything then 20 percent then another 10 I feel like I'm in premium outlets guess what Jade's hungry because <laughs> the dog shit in the woods right we're heading over to the dock house the whole, whole dock is it we're just uh, come over the new bridge the Humber Street market up and coming thing of a jig place yeah, this bridge has opened in lockdown, it's brand new. Um, you've noticed on the road down here they've actually closed all the pedestrian crossings for now we got lost here. So we're up to see that. what we can have for, um, for food. If the sun was shining and it was a summer's day, you would think you were abroad. Unfortunately Maybe. we are, and it's Maybe. cold. I love this street, I just love it. Well, hopefully eating at the tap house, it does look to be open. We have booked a table, so uh, go and tell them we're here, Nick. change of plan the tap house was only doing drinks not food so we've come to explain one though uh, because because the, it's... The, the response was we're only doing food on weekends because of covid yeah which... well, can you not catch covid on a weekend well i don't know so we've come to nibble instead which we've had food at before where we can order on the app and they bring it out to us so uh right i'm just gonna have a quick a quick look sis change of plan again we didn't like the menu at that one so we're coming here getting a sandwich and they said we can take it in there and take a drink to the tap house. All right, we're gonna get one of these. Can we get that one and that one, please? Yeah. Those three. Anything, oh, all of it but pistachio. Yeah. Thanks. What are you getting, Jane? I don't know, because I don't yeah, know. It, it looks disgusting, but I don't know what it is. Might be seaweed or 
like um, what do you call it, like uh, baby spinach yeah, maybe? Yeah. Is that anchovies? We're not doing that today. I got, I think it's some sort of spicy sausage and he said it's really spicy so I might let you regret it. Um, but it does look quite nice. Um, and then Nick and Lee have also got one and we've got some cannolis to have afterwards. We never had a cannoli before. No. I'm just trying to put Jade off by filming her, doing her filming. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Come on, Wait Nick. Wait a minute. I'm choosing my drink. I'm going to get a bong machine. What the hell's that? <laughs> it's a drink. Um, so I finally managed to sit down in the tap house. So this is the uh, back area. Unfortunately, we've got a uh, table with no heater, but at least it's covered up there. So you can't buy food here, but you can bring your own. Yeah. Speaking of food, I got this. I can't remember what it is. It's some kind of ham. And well, there we go. Ham on a pizza. Is it pizza or cannelloni? So. No, no that's goodness. cannelloni, isn't it? Uh, no, it's not cannelloni. It's a cannoli. Same thing. It's not. <laughs> one pasta, one sweet. And Nick got, what did you get? I got the same as you, but mine's a tomato based one with yeah. a pesto um, like paste as well. Mm. Nice, mine's nice. Mm. The mozzarella is definitely like freshly made today. <laughs> Two birds there, one pint to top. So, what was the verdict? Beautiful. Was it? It was like a mini pizza. A cold pizza though. I wonder if you could have it warmed up. It would have been nice and the melted cheese would have been nice. I'm going to have the cannelloni now. Well, You're not having a cannelloni. Have the cold. Cannoli. Is there anything you prefer, Jade? Pistachio no, or... Pistachio or sure. pistachio. I'm, no, I'm, 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 I like pistachio. No, I'll have this one then. Ooh. You've got a hazelnut one. And it's just started to rain. Ooh, it's fluff coming out of my coat. Verdict? Ooh, it's, it's hollow. I've just eaten it. All right. Sucked it all out. Lovely. Very nice. Be a number three. Right, we're making his way back to the shops. Nick's there in his shorts. It's absolutely wazzing it down. It's freezing cold. Uh, so we're going to go and have a little bit of a shop. Jade's behind us. <sighs> Lovely weather. You don't need I'm one. Purchase. You don't need one. You've got a Star Wars Darth Vader one. That's yours. This is mine. I haven't got. A, I haven't got a patterned hand luggage. You've got the Star Wars one. I need one. Mm. I might get the Hogwarts one, which is like the one I've got now, like in a Hogwarts acrylic. one is nice. You don't need one, you've got one. Well then, like okay, so I'll have the Star Wars How one. How much you are can these? Do without. 35 quid. You've got the Star Wars one, yeah, you have Star Wars. <laughs> get the heaters on. <laughs> they're on. They're not. Well, the, the seat heaters are on. The car heaters are on. There we go. Oh, they're on they're high. Like right, that was a really nice a okay. wet outing. Um, Jade's gone off to some more shops over the road. Yeah, we want we want more than what we. We're off back to the lodge. It's so cold now. We have got a bit. We have got some bits about shopping. Yeah. We'll do a little bit of a haul when we get back. But um, it was just nice again to have a be bit of a feeling of normality. Slight rain. Minus the rain <laughs> and the wind, which always feels normal anyway. It's always so, nice. Just right, we're going back to the lodge now. So um, when dry. we get back there, we will um, update with what we got. This is looking nice. Cajun chicken with um, Italian herbs, lemon, asparagus. Um, red pepper? Onion. Onion? Onion? What? <laughs> I was going to say red pepper. Excuse me. Um, and this is sweet potato with paprika and oil, which I'm going to fill in this space here. It says chicken tray bake, wang it all in the oven, wait for it to be all cooked, and then eat. No. No. The trick is, uh, to stop the chicken from drying out, yeah. you've got to cover it, the whole dish. What do you mean? Cover the whole dish. What as in with? foil. Oh, put like, foil over the top of it. Put foil over everything. So everything doesn't, it doesn't burn or it doesn't grill mm -hmm. um, and the chicken goes like really juicy white and it doesn't lose any moisture. So we're back at the lodge. No, we're still in Hull. <laughs> we had we're still in Hull guys, we're still in Hull. Even though it was a bit of cold and it was windy and rainy, it was enjoyable just to be out and about. It was. Yeah. Had a nice chat with Jade over, well over Jade had pie. three coffees, you had uh, three half pints of beer. Yeah. I had a couple of coffees. I'm surprised Jay's not bouncing me all those coffees. Right, I'm putting this in. Here go we for go. it, go for it. How long for that, do you think? Um, I would set an alarm for 35 minutes and then we'll just check on it. Oh, wait a minute, it's all filling up. Right, I've got to check this if it's cooked. Because I don't think the chicken's actually cooked yet. Mm. Everything mm. else is looking quite nice, though. Mm. 
My ears bunged up. I wish they'd pop. I could eat swallowing, but they're not popping. I don't know why. Mm, it's juicy, but it still needs to be cooked longer, I think. Stick it back in. Whilst you're up, just show what we got today. So we have this Disney Florida holiday booked, as you know. So I'm just picking things up when I can well, see them. Well, provisionals. Yeah. Provisionals. Although I will use this in the summer as well, as long as we have a nice summer. That's not mine. My first. So I never ever thought that I'd get something from Next. Next Outlet. Next Outlet. 12 pound for that t-shirt. I think it fits, I had to try it on all of the dog yeah, clothes. Me too, which is why I never thought I'd get anything, but and I tried it on and I quite liked it. Then Lee got this lovely floral, floral. I'm trying to go juniper, for different juniper top. kind of designs. Cause I know, you know, I've got my own style, Stripey, which I like. Lumberjack style. <laughs> but I'm just going to try and get some. You need to try it on with a pair of shorts. Yeah, it'll look good, hopefully, with some blue or khaki shots. Khaki? Khaki shots. And we're watching Once Upon a Time. We got the same bedding that we got at the apartment. Because we need a new bed in here, because we don't have enough to, to like wash and put another one at the same time. So. And it was on offer. 20% off, plus an extra 10% well, off. Wait a minute, it was. So look at all these prices. 42. How much is that? 20? For a king duvet, because we've got king on there. We always have king on a super king duvet. 20 for the super king and um, pillows. So it should have been £67. We paid 49 for it all yeah. just because of the discount. From Julian Charles. Right, I'll let you go change, Benny. Barbecue, do you think? What? Barbecue sauce. Uh, why don't you get a selection out? Sweet chilli. Barbecue. Chip shop curry. And piri piri. Which one are you gonna try? I want more choices. Well, we haven't got more choices, that's all of them. I'm sure we have got more. I think I'm gonna go for sweet chill. I think I probably would if I can't find anything better. Well, what? I thought you said Ooh. you wanted chip shop curry. Small? Oh, there's more. What? what? The barnacle piri piri. Uh, I'm gonna go for sweet chili. It's raining outside. It's horrible mm. howling winds. The heating's on. The heating's on. We're getting it all nice and cozy. Candles. Just need dessert now. Well, we ain't got dessert. Three come up to it. And we're gonna watch some Once Upon a Times. I'm not sure if I mentioned yesterday that our friend Sandy bought, brought a lemon drizzle cake when she came, uh, which she made herself and it was beautiful. So it was actually a full loaf. It was a full loaf. We had some with uh, Sandy and Steve and Jackie and Richard when they were here, so we had half left. Um, so our thinkings and thoughts are the sooner we eat it, the sooner it's gone. So, uh, you know what I mean? So we've had a couple of slices today. Nick's had about three slices. I haven't. You have. I've had one today. Well, I'm going to have a slice Two, now. And I might watch some Sex in the City. Two slices today, actually. Lovely, lovely weather. Oh, nice lights there, putting. These ones. I mean, nice lights. Remember when I did it and I drilled the wrong, wrong point? Oh, yeah, yeah. That Could lemon and drizzle were nice. Look at the, the, the rain on the... Um, you still haven't moved the chairs yet. Well, I know, but it's been raining ever since, so... Don't forget, you've got to go and tip Parker out. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. I'm not doing it, I'll just leave it plugged in. <gasps> Lazy. Oh, well, I'll go do it now, shall I? Then it's done. Go on, then. Can I pay you to go and do it for me? Get out. Oh, good go on. Poor Nick, it's really raining out there now. It's bouncing. <laughs> it's bouncing oh, now, isn't it? It's turn tomorrow. <laughs> oh my God. It's a bit wet out there. It's like, my feet are like kissing tea bags. Time for bed. It is. All lights off. Well, that's made it a bit dark. This is gonna make it a bit dark as well. That's better, a bit of light. So, I'm hungry. You've in, what? I'm hungry. That's all you ever said. Well, that's all I am, I ever am. Well, how about eating the right foods then? I've just had a bag of apples. I've had a packet of mangoes. I've had veg for my tea. Eat more protein. What more can I get? My ears are bunged up and one's just popped. Oh, it feels nice. No. Good, you've been moaning about that like a bitch all day. My ears are bunged up, I don't like it. You don't, well, you don't like your ears bunged up? Well, I'm thinking, am I getting a cold? Am I getting something? Only you would assume a headache or a brain tumour. It's not a headache, it's eight years bumped Whatever. up. Should we have a hot chocolate on the bed? No, after it's bed me. I'm having my water highlights. Thanks for watching today's vlog, guys. We are heading home at the end of this week. Eh? To the apartment. We just started this week. To get our bathroom fitted. 
Uh, so we'll see you on the next vlog when I don't know what we're doing. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, drop us a comment below. Oh, can I just know you can cannot? I just, can I just get lost? Thanks for watching, drop us a comment, hit the subscribe button, all those things I've already just said, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, what are you saying? Why don't you just say goodbye? Bye. What are you having? The highlights hot chocolate. It's only 38 calories. Nobody cares. See you in the next vlog.